Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be using this QNAP 2.5 gigabit single port network expansion card in a Windows 10 PC. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So you can see the model number here. And here's the card. So this comes with a half height connector connected to it, but it has more underneath. And this has an Intel i220LM ethernet controller on it. And that's why I bought this card. I wanted one with an Intel controller. If we go down here below, we have this manual here, it talks about how to install it. And then we have the full height slot and pull that out. So this is the adapter for the QNAP NAS. This is the one I'll be using in my PC. It also comes with a couple screws. So pull out my screwdriver kit here. I'm going to get a number one Phillips screwdriver bit. I'll loosen these two screws here. And then I'll just line this up. It has pretty tight tolerances here, so it's very easy to line up. I just want to make sure the circuit board is on top of the metal. Okay, so this is ready to be installed in my PC now. Okay, so here I have my PC. It's an NZXT. I have it unplugged from the wall. I'm going to take off the side panel. So I'm going to find an available PCIe slot. So looks like this one here will work. So I want to remove this cover plate here. So every PC is going to be a little different, but they'll have some similar things. I'll loosen these here, pull this plate out of the way. I've switched to a number two screwdriver. I'll remove this screw here. I'll pull this plate out. Back inside, I'll line this up with the slot and press it in place. Now I'll put this screw in and I'll slide that plate down and my install is complete. So now I'll boot it up and run some benchmarks. Okay, so I have the PC booted up. Now QNAP does not provide a driver for this NIC. So what you want to do is go to the Intel website and download the network driver there. And that will just work with this network card. So what I have here is I have the PC, I have a QNAP NAS. This is also running the same network card. And then I have an ingenious ECS 2512 2.5 gigabit switch. So I have these all connected up. I have a speed test running on the NAS. I connected to it from the PC and I got 2.4 gigabit download and 2.4 gigabit upload. So this is obviously 2.5 gigabit ethernet. You're never going to reach exactly 2.5 gigabit. So this is what you would expect from it. So I previously tried a Realtek card and I was not able to get the upload speed to be 2.4 gigabit. I was only getting like one and a half at the very most. So if you're looking for a 2.5 gigabit network card for a PC, I think this QNAP card is a great option. Even though it's not marketed for PCs, it does work in PCs if you use the Intel driver. And this gives better performance in my experience than the Realtek based cards. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.